In this short video, I'll show you how to set up your own custom domain name with your blogspot, also known as blogger.com, blog. This is All Things Blogging. Hey, welcome to the All Things Blogging channel. This is Body Jones, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain name with your blogger blog. So as you can see, this is my Blogspot blog. I just set this up for a test, and there's a nice picture of a cat there. Yeah, this is just the default theme. And you can see that the address is bodyjones.blogspot.com. So we wanna change this to the domain that I have, and that is parttimeseo.com. So I've already got the domain registered, and I used namecheap.com to do it. If you haven't registered a domain name yet, it's really easy to do, you just, go to namecheap.com or any other uh, registrar that you want to use. But to follow this example, you'll need to use Namecheap. Go ahead and purchase the domain, the domain name. It's going to cost you about $10 to do, not bad, and that lasts you for a year. And once you're at that point, you can follow along from where I am. Okay, the first thing you want to do is in blogger.com, you want to go to settings and then basic, then click on set up a third party URL for your blog under publishing. And when you get there, you just want to type in the domain name that you've purchased and make sure to add www. For some reason, they make you add that. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm just going to put my domain in and click save. So after you've done that, you're going to get this error message. It tells you that you're going to have to verify the domain and it's going to give you two CNAME addresses that you need to set up for this uh, to get this to work. And a C name you can just kind of think of as like an alias. So, but here it is, there's two of them. One of them is this www and the other one is this v43e, whatever it is. And don't worry, we'll just copy and paste these in. You're just gonna wanna keep this page handy. And now we're gonna go over to Namecheap. And again, I, like I said, I've already registered my domain. If you haven't registered one, you're gonna have to register it. And then you can come to uh, your domain list and Namecheap. And from there, you'll click on Manage under the domain that you want to use. And when you get to the screen for that domain, you're gonna wanna click on the Advanced DNS tab. Okay, and you can see that there's already a CNAME record here, and there's also a URL redirect record. Now, we're gonna add the two CNAMEs that we were given on the previous page. For the host, I'm adding www, and then for the target, ghs.google.com. And here I'm shortening the TTL time. Just don't worry about it. It's okay if you leave it as automatic, but it's just something that's a habit that I do. And make sure to click the green check mark to save it. Okay, let's go ahead and add the second one. Just copying the host part of it. And you wanna click add a new CNAME. Just do the same thing you did for the first one. Okay, and the final thing you wanna do is you wanna delete that initial CNAME record that was there, the one that has www and parkingpage.namecheap.com. Okay, so everything's all set here on Namecheap. The next thing we need to do is go back over to Blogger and we want to try and verify that uh, these domains are set up correctly. So just click save and what's gonna happen, at least what happened for me, was that it didn't work, I got an error message again, and that's because these names actually take a while to propagate across the internet. And we actually have to wait for this information to go from uh, where it is at Namecheap to everywhere else that it's gonna be used. So Google has a server uh, wherever it is for Blogspot, and it just takes a while for them to know about these new names. I waited around for a couple of hours and it didn't work, so I just went to bed and checked it the next morning. So, but when I did, I came and just did the same thing again and clicked save, and you can see that now it's set up right and I can see the new domain. And believe it or not, that's it. Let's try and test it out. I want to go to www.parttimeseo.com and it works. Okay. The final thing you wanna do is come back to where you see the domain listed and click edit and 
you want to click redirect your domain.com to www.yourdomain.com. That's just going to make it so that if someone, you know, writes your website that way without the www, it's going to work just fine. And that's it. You got it. So now you've got your official domain going to your blogspot blog. You're a pro. So if this was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, you should do that. Go to allthingsblogging.com or you could just go to iTunes or Google Play or Stitcher or wherever you listen to podcasts and search for All Things Blogging and you'll find it. Thanks so much for watching this and I will see you next time.